Uh, I'm based in London. I usually work with digital photography and um, film. And uh, I'm here to work on a new project uh, that is also sci-fi. Uh, in my uh, last uh, pr um, works, I've been using a lot of futuristic um, elements in my film. And I think uh, this is that the direction that um, my artwork is going these days. Can you try and keep this? This was organized. Uh, just take through this and you'll do the organization of which folder. Yeah, I'll just take this over there and that's over there. Yeah. That would be interesting. You know, we should get as well, maybe for this one, mm -hmm. the 1948 uh, women basketball players. That's in the nuns. Thing. That's in the nuns thing, I just remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tricky, tricky. Okay, so this, this is actually spaceship and yeah. we'll keep it here. Okay. In the future, the eight from the uh, finest porcelain is um, uh, very much um, a comment about uh, the archaeological uh, war that's happening in, uh, between Israel and Palestine right now. Uh, as we know it, Israel is constantly trying to dig under uh, Palestinian uh, buildings uh, to prove the Jewish presence that nobody debates but uh, still it's something that uh, is quite important in um, the war on narrative. Uh, again this project is uh, another project where I um, try to tell the story uh, of the conflict in the Middle East in a sci-fi context uh, where futuristic elements that might seem surreal and irrelevant to what's going on sometimes highlight uh, the political reality of that uh, situation much more than if I would just say work in documentary. I think my earlier works were much more humorous than satirical and the more I kind of hone in my skills or like my idea of what, what I'm trying to do conceptually, the more it's becoming, uh, the more my work is becoming satirical. I think it's, it's quite important to address such heavy topics and, and, and a topic that has been talked about for many, many years. Uh, and it's important to um, find a different way of engaging the viewer. You kind of feel at ease watching something that has humor and therefore you engage with it more. And um, I think my work is becoming less and less humorous, but still has this kind of maybe uh, a meta comment uh, on the situation that has maybe a cheek to it. Uh, yeah. حضرت محاضرة هون ناس جايين من أمريكا يحضر يعني من محاضرات الفلسطينية عن رفق بالحيوان اللي هم زاروا مزرعة بإسرائيل للعناية بالحمير الحمير عنا في الفلسطين كتير بعملوهم سيء ففي مؤسسة في إسرائيل عم تنقذ الحمير الفلسطينية من المعاملة السيئة الفلسطينية حتى قال حتى هم صاروا منقذين أكثر من تسعين حمار Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, قالوا كل الحمار وصل المزرعة اللي عنده uh, في وضوح انه هو عنده مشاكل نفسية الحمار <laughs> Recently I had uh, a scandal where I um, was nominated for a prize I was nominated by a Swiss museum uh, who was supported by Lacoste, the, the fashion uh, conglomerate and so I did present my, my three sketches for my work Nation Estate. Um, and they were happy with my sketches and just a day before they went public, uh, the director of the museum calls me and says, um, unfortunately, the CEO of Lacoste decided that they have to remove your name from the competition. Uh, they asked me that they're going to send me a letter where they're going to change my contract, where, where I would say that I left to pursue my own. Uh, um, Larissa Sansour left the competition to pursue other opportunities. So basically, not only did they censor me, they wanted, to to help, they wanted me to help them hide the fact that they censored me. So it became very problematic, and I told them that 
one thing that you want to censor me, but I cannot, uh, you know, play that game. I actually talked to people I knew from the Independent in London, and we went public with the whole story. Finally, after a huge battle of uh, activists putting pressure on the museum, the museum um, decided to issue a statement that they are siding by the artist uh, for freedom of uh, artistic expression and dropping uh, Lacoste. So all of a sudden, my work actually reached um, a completely different uh, part of, of society than, than uh, what I would usually reach, like museums or film festivals. So in that way, I mean, it was clear how uh, your work could become very political. I always work with kind of this um, fragile line between utopia and dystopia and you can see that very clearly in, in nation state where there's this um, uh, grand skyscraper that is the best uh, futuristic skyscraper ever made life much easier for Palestinians they don't have to cross checkpoints anymore they can just take an elevator and go from one city to another at the same time it's just a very insipid, cold world of uh, a building that doesn't make any sense. It's inorganic in, uh, and it, it's uh, obviously a sad culmination of a culture to just be housed in one, you know, uh, concrete building. There's no soldiers so here. here Maybe the background far, far away of the burial scene. Okay. My biggest influences is um, are, you know, cinema, uh, TV, um, whatever you see around you, and I think it's kind of haughty to think that you're above that because we talk about the world that we understand and live in. Uh, so I think it's much closer to my world to introduce cinema and pop. Uh, than it is to insist on me, on my place, or, or my, cliche, my cliched understanding what I am as an artist. So I think, and, and, I, and you can see that in all disciplines, that there is a crossover between disciplines, and, and it's very hard to kind of, you know, separate those dis disciplines from one another. And, and I think that's what's so exciting about uh, the art medium, is that it's malleable. There is something about art that can be molded, and it, it always, always has this ability and like, say, other creative disciplines to actually introduce these elements from around them and, and, and be a, a truly avant-garde medium. The Middle East is a land bridge between the Eurasian and African continents. I rejoice to know that millions of tons of commerce in all my talks are transmitted to it and its own products, are sent into Europe and to the serious laid down by my products. Anything except the there was a specific threat to the region of the Soviet Union and its Jordan best demonstrated by the brutal war in So, we can speak English,